Good morning, it's Mike Chang here in Seoul, South Korea, starting my food day out right. I'm actually heading to a really amazing looking and affordable Korean barbecue, but they don't open until 11.30. Until then, Shake Shack's open. And check this out, extra hot chicken sandwich and a strawberry chocolate shake. I love breakfast here in South Korea. Oh, that's a good chicken sandwich. That is really spicy. I'm so glad I got a shake. Oh, this is really good too. I wish Shake Shack back in the US could be as good as here. Anyway, before we head out to the buffet, a big shout out to our new sponsor, Honey, for sponsoring this video. If you guys don't know what Honey is, it's like a shopping ninja that always kind of lurking in the background. And whenever you're shopping online, it automatically searches for promo codes so you don't have to. I've been using Honey for years, Christine has as well. And let me show you how it works. Just the other day, looking for Lunar New Year gifts from my parents. Wanted to get them a couple sets of really high quality towels. One set being red, of course, for the New Year's. Total came out to be about $100. $43. When I went to check out, Honey starts doing its thing. Searching through all the promo codes, found one that worked and right away saved $14.39. That's basically savings I would have missed out on if I didn't have Honey helping me out. And the thing is, Honey works on a lot of sites that you're probably already shopping on. To install it is really simple. It just takes two clicks. It works with pretty much every single browser. And after you get it, it's just gonna start searching for promo codes whenever you're doing online shopping. If you wanna give it a try, go to my link down below. We're just gonna join honey.com slash dumpling to add it to your browser for free. It's Speaking of savings, let tell you see this next buffet I'm going to. Good morning, hopefully everyone is doing well. It's Mike Chen here in Seoul, South Korea. Reason 8,981 why I love this country is you can find cheap yeats everywhere. Case in point, all you can eat Korean buffet, about $5. This place is popular. This is about 10 minutes after it opened and it is full. Luckily I found a seat and there's quite a lot of dishes on the buffet. It's a $5 buffet, so not really expecting much. There's three meat dishes and then a bunch of veg dishes, some banchan as well. Everything is homemade. Just a little chewy, crispy little fish with sesame on there. That's awesome. Also. The kimchi is extremely spicy. And the meat dishes, a little bulgogi, spicy bulgogi. Distinct, slightly sweet. Whole chili peppers in there, which brings the heat. The flavor is really, really nice as well. Ooh, that brings way more heat than just gochujang. Mmm. And I like the fact that there's a ton of fat on this pork. This is definitely a little local seafood. If I came later, I don't think I could have sheep. All right, round two. This looks like spicy pepper beef and cabbage and blood sausage. I think uh, usually what happens is um, people just come here and they just grab one plate because those plates are ginormous and they finish off the one plate and that's it. I really should just put everything on one plate. Anyway, got the rest of the bun chun. Basically got the rest of whatever I didn't get last time. Seaweed 
fish cake soup. Fish cake is so tender. More bulgogi. Wow, this blood sausage looks so good. Mmm. That might be the best thing out here. Spicy, yummy blood sausage. And this pepper steak, this tastes more like tofu. I mean, if you really wanted to get by, it's not a budget in Seoul. Places like this is how you do it. I mean, super delicious homemade food. It's not even like you're eating at a cheap buffet. The food doesn't taste as good. This is delicious homemade food. And it'll leave you very, very satisfied. That was an amazing breakfast. Next, let's grab some dessert. Mango waffle. $2. Crazy mango waffle, crazy mango banana waffle. I think one crazy is enough for me. I don't, I don't really need it to be any more bananas. Ah, yep. That place is so awesome. You can get an iced coffee there for about 70 cents. Soft serve for a dollar. I feel like I'm in Ikea. Can't really eat this outside, so I'm gonna take it back. And uh, that bakery I've been trying to show you guys finally is open. Salt bread for about dollar eighty. What's up, Dad? They bake everything on site, and let me just show you why I'm so obsessed with the salt bread. All right, let's show you what I got: a mango yogurt shake, and this is the waffle. Look how big this is! About two dollars for this giant. Crispy Nutella mango cream filled waffle. It's still crunchy. If you guys ever come to South Korea, you gotta try a waffle. Their waffle is just different. And it's so much better. And it's awesome. First of all, they make it really, really, really thin. So it stays very crunchy. The fillings are awesome. Nutella cream mangoes. Who doesn't love that? Mango's a little cold, so it's almost like eating a mango ice cream. Mm. If I ate this, like right when they gave it to me, this would be way crunchier than this right now. But even still, it's pretty crunchy for having just been sitting in the back for about 15 minutes. Mango yogurt shake. This is so freaking good. Mango puree on the bottom. Yogurt slush on top. This is an amazingly delicious, refreshing drink. I love eating yogurt in South Korea. Might have just found my favorite version. Now to this salt bread. I got four of them because I could just sit here I eat this stuff all day long. They also sell butter. <laughs> so I got some butter. So usually I'll get two of these in a, in a tin of salted butter. Now I just dip these things in the butter. They're tiny little rolls with salt on top, hence salt bread. The reason it tastes so good is the crust. See this crust on the bottom? Look how flaky it is. It's almost like a croissant crust on the outside, but soft, fluffy bread on the inside. It's a croissant bread. A croissant? Again, a close up look on that crust. It's so buttery and flaky. Doesn't taste like a typical crust from bread. I just dunk it in the butter since I don't have a knife to, to spread this with. Yeah, inside, all fluffy, airy bread. Outside, all flaky, crispy croissants. This was another complete accident. I mean, typically you read something like salt bread, at least for me, that didn't really catch my attention. But when I was in there, the lady behind me loaded her tray up with about a dozen of these. So I'm thinking, she must know something I don't. And now, I'm telling you, go get this. It's like the best part of my day, just sitting here, eating butter salted bread. So happy. This place is so cool. Little gravity machines for Baskin Robbins gifts with the kids. All sorts of different ice cream, cakes, cookies, little Baskin Robbins bears, layered ice cream cake. You don't have to get a whole cake to eat here. You can get a piece. Oh, look at this. You can get a sampler platter too. And you can get a seat looking at Gunnam and, um, and that's YG. That's uh, Black Pink's company. Look how pretty that is. A fondue. 
at Baskin Robbins. And this is a ice cream sampler that you can dip into the chocolate fondue. This is so crazy, a fondue meal at Baskin Robbins. Only in South Korea. Got a couple of iced teas. Little dipping forks. On the plate, there's strawberries, bananas, waffle cones, a Madeline cookie, and 12 flavors of ice cream. Dippable in a boiling hot chocolate. Heated by a candle. First of all, strawberries in general in South Korea are awesome. So sweet, so juicy. And then dipped into boiling bitter dark chocolate, you know that's gonna be good. Mm. I'm most excited to dip uh, ice cream. Dip the ice cream in the chocolate, and then maybe some cookie crumble. And that's essentially made myself an ice cream lollipop. I don't know why Baskin Robbins in the US don't consider doing this. Ice cream dipped in a chocolate, a few seconds later, forms this nice chocolatey shell. This thing is ingenious. Like seriously, I go to Baskin Robbins all the time if they had this. The only challenge, you gotta finish all the ice cream before they melt. Even melting a little bit, the ice cream ball just crumbles. Finish the ice cream before finishing the fruit. Now I'm at Starbucks and because they have this new jasmine lychee drink that's also blue. It tastes borderline creamy, heavy on the lychee flavor. And this is delicious. Especially, I'm gonna mix it with some sparkling water. This cuts the sweetness a little bit, add some more bubble, make a soda out of it. Even better. If you want a good bowl of pasta for not a lot of money, go to this guy. Let me show you. So two pastas, their, their signature classic spicy cream, and this is the olive oil pasta. And this pasta, 375. It's chili inside, there's herbs, slices of garlic. This thing smells incredible. Also, free pickles. Again, I don't think this pasta place is rated very well by people here. This is a really good pasta for the price. I mean, 375, noodles are super al dente, and super garlicky, buttery. I like it. This is their signature spicy, spicy cream pasta. Oh, I think with sliced brisket mixed in too. Whole chili peppers. This is about $6. Well, I think they put peanut butter in here. A little sweet and peanut butter in here. Super creamy and spicy. Again, perfectly cooked noodles. I mean, this is definitely better than anything you'll find at Olive Garden and at about a third of the price, but without the breadsticks. I wish they had all of the breadsticks. Last meal of the day. If you walk around, there's so many all-you-can-eat barbecue places. A lot of them have great deals, like this barbecue place. I think all-you-can-eat for 14,000 won, so about 13, less than $13. No way. Oh, I'm sorry, $11. That's a pretty good deal. So this is the menu. You can order whatever you want. Oh, this is so convenient. They actually have everything in English. Grilled chicken, marinated pork, whole pork belly, intestines, rinds. There's cold noodles for 5,000 won, soup 3,000. There's soju, sodas. I think this is gonna be great. Rice? Okay. Bunchons, everything's here. Get yourself some scallions, sesame oil, and some salt.
Mm. And touches are so good. First time I had it since coming to South Korea. Mm. This place is so good. Right now, it's absolutely packed. Every single table is taken. But the quality of pork is delicious. It's so nice and juicy. I love that it's charcoal. It makes such a big difference. The pork is so fatty and nice that I like it when I kind of overcook the meat a little bit. So the fat is nice and charred like this piece right here. Best way to eat this though. A little sauce, put it on the lettuce. I like to add a couple pieces of raw garlic and a little chili. Oh, that's good. Again, having real charcoal is so vital to get that great smokiness into the pork. I can do something like this. Huh? Also, this is good quality pork they're using too. No gaminess whatsoever. There's so much fat, and I love how you just crisp the fat up. I mean, that piece of fat is just dissolved on my tongue. I love it. You burn the outside, so you seal all that great juice in. I just got to I look for him. That 8% is representing really hard right now. Also, it's great that as soon as you put it in your water, it shows up right away. So you get two hours here. All you can eat, delicious food, this is a really good place to just kind of socialize. So you see a lot of people here with their friends just sitting, drinking, having a good time, eating food. And honestly, if I lived here, I'd probably be doing the same thing. Next round, marinated pork, always awesome. But this right here, unlimited pig skin. This is the treasure right here. I would go to an all-you-can-eat barbecue if they only had the all-you-can-eat pig skin. Because this stuff is amazing. This is done. This one, you dip it into uh, the grain powder. Oh. So good. So good. The texture is just amazing. Oh, oh, the marinade pork is awesome. Mm. When that thing chars up, the marinade just harmonizes so nicely. Mm. I highly recommend this barbecue. Meat texture is amazing. Flavor is delicious. People are so nice working here. It's English friendly, so if you do feel a little intimidated, the menu is in English. I think there's some staff here that speaks English. Just an overall great place. Plus, $11 all you can eat barbecue. What? You're gonna like it. Back home after another awesome food day. Now it's just a little movie and more of the salted bread. As always, I'll place a one to list it down below for you guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Until we eat again. See you later.